by the time we're finished watching the Rossi fireworks tonight, we will have seen and felt some 7,000 explosions. While the Rossies have turned the art of making fireworks into a science, the basic idea behind getting one of their shells into the air has been the same for centuries. Recently, local 12 meteorologist Tim Hedrick showed some local children what makes a rocket go. During the Toyota WEBN fireworks, you see a great light show in the sky. Light and color bursts way up high. How does that stuff get so high? Every firework has black powder. Black powder. Black powder is made up of 75% potassium nitrate, 15% charcoal, and 10% sulfur. Black powder! It can't explode, but it's not as powerful as dynamite. If you burn black powder in the open air, the heating gas will quickly dissipate. But if the black powder is confined in the bottom of a firework in a tube, the trapped heat and gas will push vigorously at the inside of the launch tube until... Grandma! Grandma! Watch out! Now the explosion of the heat and the gas will hurtle fireworks a thousand feet into the sky. The same thing will work with a rocket that you buy at a hobby store. Let's give it a try. Are you ready? Yeah! All right, here we go. Three! Holy cow. Now you know, kids, how those colors get so high in the sky. I'm Tim Hedrick for the Toyota WEBN Fireworks. Thank you, Tim. We miss you this year. We also want to thank all the children who helped Tim with his science project. And their parents who brought them to School Section Road in Green Township.